Matagorda Bay, Texas. Really? What's there? Why are you going there? Everybody was saying, there's nothing to do there. Well, I beg to differ. Let's go down that road. A lot of the campgrounds around here were full, so we came to this one, had a few openings. <laughs> this is not a resort. <laughs> we don't stay at resorts anyway. Very rustic. Very rustic. Lots of fields surrounding it. Yeah, but it was pretty good and we were glad we were protected from the storm last night. Oy. <laughs> I'm glad we weren't in that. I see they braced it up with boards. Oh my gosh, that must have been scary. Some pretty hefty wind gusts came up. And we rocked a little bit, but we've rocked worse. <laughs> Hello, faithful people. I'm Orlean. I'm Gary. And we are on our way to Matagorda, Texas. We thought about going to Galveston which would have been a lot closer to Houston, but we've been there before. And we wanted to go someplace different that we haven't been to before. And we didn't have time to really go all the way down to Corpus Christi. About halfway between Galveston and Corpus Christi is a little town called Matagorda. And they boast about their white sandy beaches <laughs> and about their, yeah, Beaches, bays, birds, business. I just saw the billboard. That yeah. proves it. Anyway, it's a very small town, but I think it's quite a touristy area. We're going to find out. And the first place we're going to go to is the Welcome Center. This is on Highway 60 going south. Straight south. It has been straight flat <laughs> <laughs> since we turned off of I-10, I think. Anyway, uh, we're going towards Matagorda. Cute, cute, cute. We could have stayed at an RV park very close to the water, actually, to the beach. But it was booked. And a lot of the other ones we checked out were booked. So we found one that was about five miles out of town, just a few minutes, not very far. And that's where we stayed for the night. Ooh, that's a big bridge. Are we going over that? Oh, we are. Oh my gosh. Really? Ah!
welcome center. Let's see what's inside. There's a little display room in the visitor center and here's some of the different skeletons of a spoonbill. Long-billed curlew, never heard of that. Those are pelicans. Owls and birds of prey. These are different kinds of nuts. Oh my. Brown hamburger bean. This one right here. That's cute. <laughs> Red hamburger bean. Sea heart. Brain fruit. <laughs> Nipa, Nipa palm. Walnut. That's a tropical walnut. Interesting. What are these? These are what we're coming for. Looking for some of the seashells. Ooh, that'd be cool. A little purple seashell. Sea snail. Purple sea snail. Well, we'll see what we can find. That'd be cool. Sand dollar. Gary found a sand dollar. Totally intact. Where was that? Where were we when you found that? South Carolina. Oh, maybe. Ooh, what are these? Hope they're not birds. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's a funny looking bird. <clears throat> Snakes. Oh, a dolphin. Somebody said you can see pods of dolphin from here. See a sailboat. Oh, they're all made out of shells? Mm -hmm. huh. Oh, turtles. Yeah, I heard that too. That you might be able to see some turtles here. All right, let's get outside. See the owl? Oh, what's he made out of? Little tiny, little tiny shells. Oh my goodness. That took patience. It's quite windy out today, so I think I'm going to be doing just a lot of pictures with some music or something. We're going to go out on this. <laughs> it goes way out there, and then I think it goes, oh, get away, blurry. It goes way out there, and then I think there's a trail that comes along here, and that's where the birds are supposed to be. Mostly is over there. This is at the Jetty parking lot, which is very close to the Welcome Center. You can see it right through there. And there is room for RVs if you bring your RV with you. We did not bring Faith with us today. <laughs> not our RV Faith, anyway. And we just left her at the campground.
That's a bird. <gasps> Hello. Wow. What are you? A heron? Must be a blue heron. Here we're a little closer. Why do people always have to ruin things? I can't believe they wouldn't be missing those clothes.
during high tide, the water comes past those signs, comes way out here where I'm standing. So all that trash that people leave on the beaches is going to get carried out to the ocean. That's sad. And some of it may be washed in from the ocean from someplace else. Hmm. sweet home. <laughs> if you are looking for a lot of restaurants and shopping and nightlife and lots of all that kind of stuff, go to Galveston. There's a lot of history there too. There's a lot of really neat things to see in Galveston. But if you're looking for a very slow paced, go on the beach, not crowded, and go fishing or just looking for seashells or sit back and reading a book yeah bring your lawn chair not so many distractions down there no it was very nice yeah a good relaxing day after houston yeah <laughs> so is it worth it to go to matagorda bay yes i think so i think so too there are some shops, just a few. There were some restaurants that were closed on Tuesdays. Um, there is a very historical uh, cemetery there, but we didn't go there. Didn't want to go to a cemetery today. If you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Um, leave a comment down below. Have you ever been to Matagorda Bay? Have you ever been curious about it? Check out our Facebook page for other things that we don't put in our videos. And until next time, God bless.